Like Have y'all this. ever heard of the Dutch oven? The Dutch oven is a necessary step in a healthy relationship. 100% hey, agree. You got to be able to Dutch oven your girl and her not be a, like get legitimately upset at you. My shorty was asleep. She knocked the hell out. Mouth wide open and everything. You know what I'm saying? Papa too. What's going on, man? Welcome back. Black Street Boys Show, episode number 116. One sixteen of y'all, man, as usual. Brandon Keith, aka the Range Brothers. Man to my left. Boy, Marge, man, and any girl, my life, Dennis. Y'all already know how we're going. Man, you know who it is. The CEO, the prayers, Rob, the God, Rob, philosophies, whatever you want to call me, baby. Let's get it. You got your boy D Johnson, DJ Smooth, the man with the money, man. Y'all know what it is. Man, Patreon. Discord. Discord is going up every single week. Shout out to everyone in the Patreon. Shout out to everyone in the Discord. Jump in that Patreon. $3. Spare change. Extra three hour plus long podcast. You get extra segments. You get the live streams every Tuesday, 6 p.m. Mm-hmm. Central Time. Mm-hmm. Shout out to everyone that's joined the, the Patreon. We, the members are actually they they, they go, they're going up. We we appreciate we appreciate Thank you guys you. so much. You guys Everybody help us out so much. You guys don't understand how much you guys help us out. And of course, you can that Discord interact with us anytime we do something. The Discord is the first to know. Mm-hmm. Let's get right to the show, man. What you, what you got? Speaking of Discord, one of our fans from the Discord hit me up on this topic. Now, usually I let, you know, Brandon do the sexy red stuff. But today, the news is a little egregious. You know, Very. sexy red got a new lip gloss. Lip okay. Gloss. Now, the problem ain't the lip gloss, but the problem is the lip gloss names. <laughs> and, you know, I, when I, before I list the names, I just want you to think if you want any of these things on your lips. Oh, man. Okay. What? So first, we got coochie juice. Oh, man. Well, well I mean, oh, yeah, I, yeah. I would like that. Yeah, well, that's not bad. Not but bad. I'm talking about as a woman. Okay, oh, I don't know about well, that. I mean, yeah. I mean, no, they might still. Yeah, you that way, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Booty hole brown. Yeah, yeah come on. Man. I mean, technically, I already got that, so. I don't know if you had booty hole on your lips, but okay. Uh, nut. What? What? Yeah, nut. That is that is one of the that is one of the flavors. Nut. N U T. It's a flavor. It, that's that's one of the that's yeah that's one of the motherfucking flavors. Flavor? You mean like? Nah, it's got to be color, man. No way. Or whatever you call it. Whatever you call it, shit. Yeah. Shit. That's one of the names for the lip gloss. Uh huh. Next is p- pussy hole pink. Mm. Pussy hole. <laughs> okay. All right, there. Yellow discharge. Oh, man. Come See, on. come on, man. All right. All right. All right. I've had enough. Okay. I've had enough. Okay. I've had enough. Okay. Man, what the hell, y'all? It gets people, egregious. People, they buy. There's more. Yo, there's more. Oh. Okay. Next up is gonorrhea. Oh, my God. Gonorrhea. Yeah. I'm, I'm so dead ass. <laughs> The one after that is blue balls. Mm. Oh, Jesus. And then the last one, but not least, is sex what, on my period. What is? Mm. So I guess that's the red one. You asking the wrong motherfucker. What is gonorrhea? What the fuck you mean? What is gonorrhea? I don't know what it is, what man. Color is it? No, I'm saying like, what's that gonna be? I'm talking lip gloss with that brown. Be? Mm. Oh my god. A reddish brown. But you already got booty, booty hole brown. Uh, that's a pinkish brown. brown. You know, booty hole brown got some old. You know. <laughs> I don't have to. <laughs> Ladies, if you're buying this, if I catch any of y'all with, you know, if I take a shorty out and, you know, she said, I got a lip gloss on your face. Right. I got, got nut. nut. Like, come on, bro. That's that's a yeah, jet. Come on, man. That's a jet. Nut is that's crazy. A jet. Go nut? Nigga, nigga, yellow discharge is insane. Yeah, I don't man, think they go around telling anybody they got yellow discharge on their mouth. I sure me. hope not. Yeah, it's going to be something. But she has no problem putting it on the box. All the hood and hood adjacent girls will be all on there. Actually, let me stop. You know, I need to stop that. You know, it ain't. That's it's more so a mentality, cause you could be from the hood. You don't got to be acting like that. Bars. You don't got to support that. that is That's more so what I meant when I talked about that a couple weeks ago. But you know, she thinks she's doing the Rihanna Fenty shit and it ain't working. Mm-hmm. It's terrible. No, yeah, it's not good. no, it's awful. It's not marketable. That's what I'm saying. Oh yes, it is. How do you market oh, that? Yeah, yes, besides the fact yes, that it's it sexy red yes, on Twitter, it there's yeah. nothing else. There's yeah. nothing else but that. Yeah, but like she ain't gonna be no billionaire off that, you know? No, no, no. It's no, the names, no. the egregious to, names that's gonna get purchased. I don't think Sexy Red trying to become a billionaire. She's trying to get to whatever bag she can. Why should? Hustle. Why couldn't she just do normal shit? That's not a normal bitch. Well, that, yeah. <laughs> Still, something like that. You want to sell it? Yeah. There's nothing normal about well, this woman. Bars, but if you're gonna make money, like a lot of it, how many motherfuckers are gonna buy their kids this shit? When they see the names like that on the box, think, weird is a new norm, DJ. You gotta, you gotta be accustomed to it by now. That's too well, weird. I don't think the kids are the target audience. Yeah, no, definitely no, they're not. not but you know, well, I hope there. not. The kids are the target audience, but a lot of these motherfuckers, just motherfuckers, keep going to schools and shit, and the kids are going insane for. Her. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. The bars. Yeah, them kids. She yeah. probably tried to give out some of her booty hole brown lip gloss to the to the. You know what I'm saying? Or some of the nut. Right. Like, come Don't on, be man. Kids walk around with nut. Like, Jesus. Man, that ain't right. I'm just thinking about like well, in yo, the room when you're creating this shit and like you got all these you know people that's backing you. And you telling you giving them your ideas and shit, and they just letting the shit fly. I'm trying to tell you, sex red. She is the got sickness. famous off being a disgusting wench. Yeah, they're going to allow that to slide. This is insane. This is but like, it, like, like Rob said, it's just not marketable. You, the, the reason you do this kind of stuff is to make money. Mm-hmm. She been making money so far. She wasn't putting yellow discharge on shit. She yeah. was so in yeah. booty hole brown. Now, she DJ. made a lot of money off that my coochie pink booty hole brown now, song. Now, That's let, a song. Let me be a devil's you advocate. Put, you gotta put this shit on your lips. Fuck that. Let me All be right. a devil's they, advocate, if, if, man. If, they, if, they, if, if someone okay. puts it on and models it and they're like, ooh, that looks good, they're gonna buy that booty hole brown lip gloss. DJ, Bars. I tell you like this. If we had colognes or like, you know, uh, 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 shaving products or shit, if we named our cologne, you know, uh, uh, semen something, something oh crazy. It's not getting bought. No. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. I'm not buying You'd that. You'd be surprised. How do you feel? Oh, girl comes to you. Uh, get a, you get smell a, nice. What cologne is that? Musty balls. Like that ass. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. Musty balls as a cologne. You'd be surprised. Nigga, that's it a joke. Good. Good. Come on. That sounds like a joke. Exactly. And you're being sarcastic. Nah, for real. Tell me what it really is. Musty balls. I don't like think that. Quite, I, don't I think wouldn't it. take a girl seriously. Show me, yeah, it's nut. What? <laughs> No, I wouldn't. I don't think they're gonna take it seriously if you say it's musty, musty balls, balls either. <laughs> shit, somebody gonna buy it. No, I yeah, no. I mean, gonna buy it. someone's gonna buy it. Yeah, because it's sexy red. I don't exactly. think it's gonna be very big in the way that she maybe thinks. This is egregious, man. I don't know at this point. She yeah, probably that, can't even spell half of these words. You know what? That is bars though, because that Not might real, just be the no, it no, might no, be the new no fad. Shot. You know, niggas might just randomly start rocking lip gloss, gonorrhea, and, and rashes, and STDs. <laughs> If I, oh, if I see that, uh, that's a, that's, I'm looking at you strange as hell. I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. Honestly. I wouldn't doubt it either. But I'm just saying, if I see, it just, I just, oh. You're going to see some booty hole brown lip gloss. <laughs> and you're not going to know it's booty hole brown. No, you're going to be like, I'm going to ask. I'm definitely going to ask. I'm definitely going to know. I wouldn't want to know. I'm going to ask. I wouldn't want to know. Before I say anything like that, but I'm you asking. You're look at her first and say, mm, that looks good. No, no. You say, I hope it now that I know this is out there, now that I know this is out there, I'm asking. All you got to do is ask, is that the, is that the sexy red shit? Uh-huh. No matter what name it is, it's, 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 it's over with. Hell yeah. I got to know before I make any compliments. Well, I mean, what if comments? it's a good color, though? It will feel good on Don't it. give a damn. Still what got if, to know. What if you fucking with the Because now, now let's say, let's say this is your shorty and she got nut lip gloss on her lips and you kiss her. I mean, you ain't actually kissing. Now you got nut. On your lips. This nigga. Yeah, but it's concerning. <laughs> but it's it. definitely concerning. It's, you, can stretch, you can say I'm stretching it. No, it's just concerning, though. It but, like, concerning. come on, bro. They can throw that in your face. Damn, now you got nut on your lips, loud as hell. Motherfucker, like, whoa. <laughs> come on. <laughs> what, what, what we doing right now? It's a lip gloss. It's a lip gloss. Like, nigga, who cares? Look at the motherfucker oh, just nut. said you got nut in your lips. Like, come on, bro. Yeah. That, that's a problem. Yeah, it's a problem. <laughs> What? Speaking of other problems, I came across some very concerning information about, you know, a song we all heard, the Cotton Eye Joe. Uh-oh. Now, when you go and deep analyze these <laughs> lyrics, you soon realize that Cotton Eye Joe is actually an STD. Mm. In specific, herpes. Mm. Cotton oh. Eye Joe. Mm. If it wasn't for Cotton Eye Joe, I would have been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where'd you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Oh, I thought I about that part. I was like, oh, he's spinning. I thought some eyes just repped that. Cause I don't know this song. No, you never heard, you never heard, heard that. Heard the no, I don't know that song. Oh Nigga, you heard that. You heard the song. You heard that song. I don't sure think you know. I know that song. Nah, you heard that song, bro. Actually, it came around. I was like, that shit all the time. All the time we were kids. We were kids. Yeah, we heard that song. No I mean, way, that's a fucking. It's about an STD. Oh my goodness. Well, it makes sense. See, I thought you would go somewhere else. I thought he was going to go to like a racial slur or something. Damn. No, Cotton so he Eye can't Joe. get no love? He got herpes? Yeah, he he would have been married a long time ago if it wasn't for Cotton Eye Joe. Right, he messed up the love of his life. Dang, right. dog. But what if like, well, he gave her the herpes? Oh, who knows? I don't Maybe know how he, yeah, he said, where'd you come from? And at where did he point, go? At Shit, that point, don't shouldn't you just stick together? Bars. That's bars. It is bars. That's it bars. is bars. You going to go off and infect somebody? Oh, else? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Might as well just two infected motherfuckers. All right, Chris, stay together. Shit. Hey, Save it. the world. Everybody got to die, die, Joe. <laughs> fuck it. What kind of fucking bullshit is that? Oh, no, You want to get? You gonna cut your attitude and go spread your fucking shit around? No, nigga, stay together. Hmm. So y'all would stay with a girl to get y'all herpes? I mean, I would rather do shit. that than to spread it. Hmm. I mean, hmm. at that point, 
you know, your options are kind of limited. Exactly. What you going to do? Now you got to Because now you got to advertise that every time you advertise yourself. Well, you know what? Somebody need to make an STD day nap That's fucked up. It is, but clearly people are already ain't. Yeah. That's, that's kind of. That's how the fuck it's got to. Over 50% of stuff. adults got that's that shit. Yeah, but Y'all yeah, that's still said. fucked up though, man. It like, is. So that might be a question you should no. ask by default anyway. <laughs> yeah. To yeah. Me, even though who's going to say yeah, facts. yeah, I got <laughs> Nah, facts. Got that cotton eye joke. Damn. You guys like going to the clinic with motherfuckers. I, Let me I, see your paperwork. I, I, you gotta start questioning the damn song now. Either. Fuck that mm, shit. My kids ain't gonna be singing about no damn oh cotton. Oh my joke. gosh, that's so deep. I no, never thought I, of I that. Think my kids can sing it. Just so I, I want to make sure they know exactly what it's about, so that they Dude, can we grown and we just not figuring out what the fuck it is. Right. So now you can tell our kids <coughs> that they so how so happen to stumble upon it oh and be like, "This goodness. is yeah. It's listen to this and let this be a lesson of." Be careful out there. That's so deep, bro. Because people out here they they bump they bumpy now. I would have never thought of that. Yeah. I, when he brought up the topic, I essentially thought racial slur. So, like, what though? Like, Cotton Eye Joe is that like an enigma, like uh, for uh, you know, infected genitalia? Yeah. Mm. What's the Cotton Eye though? Uh, it's 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 the, the, herpes, the, the, the All right. herpes. But yeah, I thought for sure you talking about racial slurs. And I, I did lie. too. What, 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 what's this? Okay. Name? So, so slurs. Right, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> me and my homies, we was talking about um, the slur silverback. Okay, I want, I want to pause right there before you go. For people who don't know, silverback grills are only the male grills who are the alpha. Yeah. So later, call me a silverback. I would, I wouldn't take it too bad. That's when me and my homies were going. Now, we also we did that we did that talk. You know, yeah, that's, is that really an insult? But then we thought about it a little deeper. Motherfuckers started calling black people silverback gorillas. Okay. <laughs> Meaning that they are nothing but leaders of gorillas. God damn. So that is a double whammy. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> that was that, fucking. I, I, ain't gonna lie. I gotta give him some credit. I wouldn't have thought. I didn't think of it like that. Because I never thought about that until my homie brought it up. Because he was like, yo, if a silverback is just the leaders of gorillas and we humans, just black people, wouldn't that mean that we ain't nothing but leaders of other gorillas? And I'm yeah. like, Oh my God! Racism is, is, is very like that. Dude was clever as hell. I gotta give him that one, bro. I, I was clever. Y'all didn't realize that. No, you know how much I knew they were. I knew have? silverbacks were leaders, but I never like connected it to like them calling us that, and then me like putting it in that same realm, like of being a leader of a gorilla. Yeah. King ape. I just thought of it as like you're just an ape. Like I never, I just, you're just an ape. But you the know, fact they really like that's fucked up. But it's clever though. That's clever. That's clever yeah. as fuck. You know how how much you have chuckle. to hate a group of people to come up with some clever shit. Yeah, like now that's that. clever. Go to racism. Like it's man, just, nah, it's, yeah, just, man. it's just lopsided though. We, we we don't got enough black people. We we funny. We get a lot of things, but we not too good at making the slurs. Oh up. no, no, we not too good. We only no. got a couple. Mm-hmm. We only got a couple, but they got so many for us. So it's just like if you yeah. it's like a slur battle, oh, we, we lose, lose that, that. Yeah, almost lose every that. time. Yeah, we fucked that one up. I mean, shit. I don't wonder some of us just choose violence because like how much you really do. Facts. Like shit, I only got to date too much shit on y'all. Facts. That's facts. Fact. Facts. That shit's fucked Dang up, that. man. I couldn't believe that. Like, he said that shit. I'm like, damn. So I'm literally just a leader of other apes. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Yeah. And then when he said it, I thought of that shit you did when you were talking about, I want to get a bunch of gorillas. And lead an army. <laughs> right. <laughs> and right, I'm so like, well, really damn. You were the super <laughs> 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 Yeah. You got there right. Oh, yeah, I respect it though, man. Because <laughs> oh mommy was right. like, well, damn, at least yeah. I'm a leader of something. You know. <laughs> 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 Shit, what you leading, motherfucker? Shit. Yeah, I was like, that's low key true though. Like, a lot of motherfuckers don't lead nothing. Because of, uh, I lead a bunch of strong motherfucking animals. Well, you know, I'm about, like, damn. I'm trying to say. And we saw what happened to Planet of the Apes. You can take over the world Get with the that whole shit. colony on our back. And shit. Hell yeah, you can take over the world with that shit. Oh, yeah. Motherfuck- let's get some intelligence. Hell well, yeah. What they do? They let's get to the schools. So I'm gonna let the silver bass get into the school. Hey, motherfucker. Hey, you gotta watch out. This nigga. You gotta watch out for me playing an A too. No, for real. No, for real. Shit. Look Don't at the Olympics. Me. Hey, you better not let Shit. no black dude do it. You know, you better not let a black Look dude the do Olympics. it. Shit. Hey. You know, speaking of apes and slurs. Yeah, what is this? 
<sighs> man, I want to talk about these young niggas, man. Okay, that's what YNs. Yeah, yeah, YNs, <laughs> young, that, niggas. Yeah. Young, young niggas. Man, these young niggas, you know, it's a bunch of crash outs. They don't play with Nintendos. They play with Extendos, oh, according Lord, to J. Much. Cole. But you can be saved, man. You can change your life. And we have proof from the first young nigga. <laughs> what is the first? Nigga. Bunk Gang. Oh, Lord. Uh, A.K.A. Oh. John Galba. Yeah, okay. That was that was nigga Lee's right there. Hey, nigga <laughs> Lee's <laughs> at his finest. Funny. Man, okay. he found the Lord. He found Christ yeah. and turned his life around, man. Y'all don't got to stay in this terrible time of, of bad crime and killing. Okay. Well, some of these niggas are LaMilton out here. Mm-hmm. Facts. There's a few LaMiltons. Facts. Some niggas just like smoking cigarettes with their friends. Yeah. Cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> That's facts. <laughs> Some of these niggas, you know, that you, nigga was off putting. You gotta, you gotta watch some of these uh, niggas. Some yeah, niggas <laughs> like a little terrified. Like this Ooh. nigga has no Ooh, like remorse for anything. Like, you no, know I appreciate. It. I like when people comment on our videos. Be like, oh, it look, like, it look like something out the Boondocks. I like those comments. Me too. <laughs> yeah. like that's something that we it's go grounded. For. Yeah, we grounded. Well, yeah, there's yeah. a lot of influence. So if you ever got a re- if they get a reboot, man, they need to they need yeah, to yeah, shout us out. Oh yeah, so we'd be great characters in that. I would love to do it. Oh God! Someone need to bring it back. I'll be excited. Make a show yeah. like it or something. No, I would be excited Facts. for that. Shit, we man, we be in there doing our thing, man. No, that Where is. Where Amakuda? What he doing? Shit, probably minding his own business. Oh Shit. God, sitting on the back. Shit. Shit, that is interesting though, cause like, damn, that nigga really changed his life around. I remember mm. seeing that. I'm just like. I remember this nigga being extremely yeah. ridiculous. Like, <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. Like, on that vine. Oh, okay, okay. He okay. was the silverback. Yeah. No, oh, facts. facts. Like, no facts. facts. Because he had other people walk around doing boot gang, this and that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That was a trend. Y'all remember hey, the, the nigga? Devious Leak? You yeah, I was just, the devious link in school. To, people were stealing all type of. I was just about to say that. Shit. I was just about to say that. That's oh, bunk. yeah. <laughs> that, like, yes. Nah, like, for real. Yes. Like, he found Christ. Good for him, man. That yeah. nigga that was jumping on car hoods and shit, talking about putting him in the coffin. I remember that nigga. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. the one. I stupid did a few shit. times. Yeah, I did a stupid shit. Me too. I ain't gonna lie. Could hurt your damn self, low key. Shit. It got hurt. Motherfuckers gonna kill you. Facts. Facts. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. Speaking about uh, people. <clears throat> yeah. I wanted to revisit this topic again because I feel like there's a, a, a couple people I want to add to this list. Yeah. Talk about celebrity crackheads once again. Yeah. Okay? Now, there's one. I, shit, this dug up from the 1950s. His name, the name was uh, Frankie Lyman. I don't know if y'all know who he was. He was about 15 when he got famous, but he died at the age of 22 to crack in heroin. Oh, shit. By the age of 13, he was already pimping women twice that, his age. That was the heroin. The heroin that killed him. That crack, no, that crack ain't Exactly. And now, now, now I'm glad you noticed That's that. That's a fact. It wasn't the crack. I'll tell you. Heroin. Stick, stick to your shit, y'all. <laughs> stick to your shit. Sometimes crack is better. Shit. Longevity, y'all. The word is longevity. Uh, Rick James, I like to say he's probably one of the grooviest crack kids we know. Next to James yeah. Brown. Yeah. Okay. Uh, That's fact. Um, this one, I'm sorry to add him on the list, but he's definitely there. Kanye West. Uh, I heard about his uh, his new struggle. Apparently, oh, he's inhaling nitrous. Yeah. Um, That guy's gone. Sorry, ain't no saving him. That's not even crack no more. There's something different. Yeah, that mm. is, uh, yep. Nicki Minaj. Yes, I think she is on cocaine. <laughs> I believe it. I Why yes. you say that? Uh, cause someone already got an allegation on her, and she's suing them for that shit. Okay. Yeah. And, not cracked though. And it, it's not the fact that she's suing her. It's just if you read the tweet, she doesn't sound like she knows what she's talking about for real. She really sounds like she's suing her just to sue her. Okay. For defamation. Type yeah, shit. type shit. She really don't give a fuck about the drug allegation. She ain't correcting. She ain't telling nobody no different. She just don't want nobody again. telling nobody. Yeah. Telling it's okay. Yeah, they want to do crack behind closed doors. It's okay. Doors. If you will crack, there's a lot of famous <clears throat> crack kids. You can't judge you on that one. Um, Bar- <clears throat> now, uh, Tiffany Haddish. What? Really? That makes sense. No, yes. that makes sense. Don't no, do that. that makes sense. Yes, that I think sense. she is also on the cocaine. That makes sense. Motherfucker, that makes sense. There's a lot of questionable things she be doing on camera. And what you just look? No, but you you gotta make the discrepancy between cocaine and crack. Well, Nigga, they all in the realm. It's in the same realm. You know, it's one is just realm, different form. No, uh, it's a little different. And what's the difference? You smoke Mr. one. Maestro? You smoke one. I'm dead. <laughs> it's the only difference. That's the only like difference crack. I know. I feel like crack got people acting a little crazy. I, I, I you know, I, I don't know. Crack, oh, crack's like, it's, it's just dirty. It's crack cocaine, you know, in the name, so I guess, you know. Sound dirty, I can't. Yeah, it is. It's just as dirty if you ask me. But it's more, <laughs> of a, it's more a classic because you can hide that <laughs> shit. You can't hide smoking crack. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? You feel you me? gonna see the little burnt line from the lip from the pipe <laughs> and shit. Can't hide that shit. Can't hide this that. This is insane. And uh, one more. Uh, Justin Timberlake. 
you know, that makes sense. You know, he's cocaine gotten, or crack? Cocaine, of course. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, it makes sense. Okay. It makes sense. That shit makes sense, man. Yeah, I think he's been doing this shit since in sync. <clears throat> I believe it's kind of why he was doing a lot of black music. Now, now we can argue he might have been smoking crack around that time. Okay. We can argue that. We can't argue that. We can definitely argue that. Time period would you know reflect you know, that. You hear me? But I like to keep that cocaine because he's a classic man. Is he? He's a classic man. Justin Timberlake, he got he got wet music, so I feel like he do cocaine, he not crack. I wouldn't be surprised if he dabbled. I mean, I'm sure he has. Yeah. Because so. if you're doing cocaine, eventually you're going to wonder what what crack is like. Because they're in the same realm. Well, yeah, I guess you'd wonder, but I don't know if like, I don't but know. But curiosity always kills the cat. Always uh, kill the cat. And they got uh, money. Honorable mention, Maybe, Oprah Winfrey. He's what? Honorable mention, Oprah Winfrey. Oh, I thought we already confirmed that. I'm going to keep saying that. I'm going to keep naming that. Yeah, that, if, that was a different one. I wasn't expecting that. But it don't surprise me, though, either. Oh yeah, she was. We said the first time, I'm like, she damn. was smoking crack in her twenties. I, I did go, some which makes dirt. sense because the time period and everything. But like, damn, <laughs> I'm crazy. like, damn, oh, you just say like, damn, like Oprah, damn, damn. damn. Hey, you know, crack is like, you know, it's, I mean, it's it's crack. I, I would not advise to smoke <laughs> it. Crack is whack, man. But like, there's worse things you could do. Or, but or. like I said, you, people like I feel like uh, if you smoke crack, there's still hope. Yeah, heroin. I don't know about that. I see methamphetamine. Yeah, oh, you know, once you smoke no, meth, you just, no, you, no. you done. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're not going back. You're damn near a zombie. You can smoke crack and still be Samuel L. Jackson. Bars. <laughs> Motherfucker oh, butt naked cooking that shit. He was butt ass nigga <laughs> under cars and shit. <laughs> shit. Sleep with the wife still. The wife stayed with him. That's a real one nah, right that's there. A real, that's, a real, hey, that's a real hey, one. Y'all letting STDs rip y'all apart. These folks is on crack and they still together. <laughs> Come on, man. It's bars. Lock in, lock in, huh? Lock in. Okay, what, what's this, DJ? Oh man! So recently, in the, about the month of June, it's been said that two astronauts are stuck in space for a possibility of six months. Them niggas did. Yeah. Oh, I, I did. <laughs> 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 now, the you reason know- I bring this up is I just want to know what your initial thoughts are. Let's say we was all all four of us, and we just stuck in motherfucking space. Okay. What the hell are you gonna motherfucking think? I would be mad as hell. I would literally be wanting to raise hell. If I died out there, I would haunt all them niggas. First off. That is ridiculous. It's supposed to be a 10-day excursion. Yeah. It's supposed to be a 10-day excursion. Right. That motherfucker, they could be stuck out there until fucking February of next year. Right. That's crazy. That is ridiculous as and hell. There's no telling how much time between how far they are from Earth. That too. NASA so. said that they're not actually stranded out there. Like they got it under control. No, they don't. They supposed to say that. They got radio silence on their ass. I heard about that shit. They had radio silence. They supposed hours. to say that, Brandon. Man, you don't, the, you don't want to put the public in a scare. And let you all And think about the future astronauts. They yes. don't want to do that shit if you're gonna be stranded out there for all that damn time. That's insane. Uh, you these they are, these they are, knew the stakes. These are the same That's people. Bars. These are the same people who also designed that submarine too. I was I just did. about to say, yeah, I them niggas gonna read. meet the same fate. So, um, unless Thanos or Facts. one of them niggas pop out and grab them niggas out of space, um, they're done. Sorry, but that's just fucked. Man, we need Tony. Start, Nigga, man. they were driving the fucking spaceship with a PS5 control. I think they'll make it. <laughs> you got hope? They'll make it. NASA said they got it under control. Yeah, of course, they're supposed to say that. Um, what would it sound like if NASA said, "No, we are completely fucked." We don't know what to do with it to get them. That would put the world in the uproar. Well, not the world, but maybe the U.S. I don't know. No, it wouldn't. You don't think so? No, I'd still get my black ass up and go to work. Well, for tomorrow. sure, but like I mean, future astronauts, <laughs> nobody want to do that shit. It's definitely going to be discouraging for the next set of niggas who exactly. want to go into the stars. Who the hell want to do that shit? Are they niggas? Who cares? <laughs> you know, who cares? Well, it, it would make sense because I, I would ask the black man, why the hell would you go to space? <laughs> okay. Okay. That's, 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 bars. that's I don't need nothing yeah, there. Ain't no need. I ain't nothing there for me. I think we we already done learned. You know, I think you think you would learn our lesson for the first time. You know, we ended up in a foreign place mm-hmm. that 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 didn't work out. <laughs> didn't work out at all. I so mean, like, I think it'd be questionable going up to places like that. We don't know about for real. I mean, I agree with you. Shit, I don't got no desires. Shit, I can see it from right from my right from my damn um you know backyard. Yeah, I saw the moon just last night. It was full moon. Too. Yeah, full yeah. Moon, I, I can look from my good. damn patio. I'm good. Yeah, for what I need to be up there for? Stars and shit. I don't need to be out I'm like there. Like a floating and shit. It's there. It's there. Shit. Eating fucking chalky ice cream and shit. Nah, man, I'm good. Yeah, hell no. Nah. You know, I'm starting to come to the realization. I agree with you, DJ. This exploration in space is fucking stupid. It doesn't really make sense. It, what it do we is. plan to do with that, any of that shit? What you mean? 
I don't understand why I go out there. Curiosity. Yeah, man. Trying to see if there's any other life out here, All man. Right. Well, don't and ask you, heard, and you know what happened when them <clears throat> niggas was in Europe and we're trying to wonder if there's other life outside of Europe? You know what they did? Fucked it all up. Backwards. So I believe we just need to stay out of there unless until we figure out the waters. Facts. Why can't we work, focus on what's on our land, man? Stop nah, trying to figure out. I ain't focus on the that. water. Hey, I'm like, hey. I'm like, in the water. Y'all got to think, man. We going to run out of fresh water soon. Yeah, but that's if we explore the more waters, we can, well, we can find more relativity. resources. Maybe if we explore more waters, we can find more resources. Why the, what the hell we get out of space? What the hell we get out of that? Water. Might How? find another inhabitable place. Yeah. Nigga, Just we don't even know. That's why they're trying to go to Mars. They're trying, yeah. to, they're trying to terraform Mars. But we don't Mars even know. We, can't, we haven't even used Elon all the resources Musk. on our own planet yet. Yeah, but it's going. our resources are finite, man. They got to be thinking ahead. And How are they we, thinking ahead if they're not trying to explore nah. more of the damn waters? Nah. Water. Nah, we can't explore water salt water. It's too much down there, man. We might fuck around and find the Kraken. I don't got no time. Yeah, Nigga, you ain't cool. going down there. All right, they so might just wake like I up. Ain't going to space. All right, they might wake his ass up. This is insane. As, this so, motherfuckers want to go out there and explore space. I say, be my motherfucking guest. You know how much money they put into that? That's tax dollars, dog. All right. Mm. Okay, they found some shit out. If we never went to space, we would never got no what the no, hell they no found no satellites the hell out there. Shit. Satellites, yeah. right? Nigga. Got satellites up there and shit. They can see shit from the satellites. I don't understand why we need to send people physically up there. They have satellites. No. To do maintenance on the satellite. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's, it's interesting takes though. Satellite. Interesting. <laughs> All right, it's interesting you take. On the internet then, nigga. It's interesting Y'all take. It's crazy. I don't agree though. All right, and they I'd rather explore the damn waters yeah. than the damn space. Space travel Shit. helped with crazy, agriculture yeah. too. Yeah. I ain't going down there. Playing that one. Put it on my ass. No, no. <laughs> Come on, put it on my ass. I respect the honesty. I respect the honesty. No. <clears throat> Some more bullshit. We talk a lot about bullshit today. Um, it's come to my attention. I see nothing but. Lives on TikTok and Instagram of people with sickly children. Mm-hmm. And I mean, kids who damn near ain't got no limbs. Yeah. Just mm-hmm. sitting there Oosh. with respirators. You never see that before? I don't never be seen on that? TikTok like that, yeah, man. I don't be seeing the shit. They yeah. got a Okay, don't laugh, but there's a nigga. People call him Modoc. Hmm. Because. I hate niggas, hmm. bro. Like, why you do that? Hmm. You started it with don't laugh. And no, you fucked it over. Like, he knows what I'm talking about. They man. call him Modoc. What good. the fuck is Modoc? Modok from, from, from Marvel. Marvel? The big head. Oh, oh I'm tweaking, chair. I'm tweaking, I'm tweaking, yeah. I'm tweaking. They I'm tweaking. call him Modok because he got, squad? Yeah. he got the big ass head and, and it, you know, it's fucked up, but <laughs> it's, a, it's yeah, it's, a fitting it's, name. It's though. a very fitting name. Uh, not gonna lie, it's a very fitting name. Tartarus. Tartarus. Tartarus, bro. Tartarus. Oh my gosh. That is ridiculous. That's but ridiculous as hell. At, we need to start checking these people's finances and, and the families that these people come from when they putting these children on here because I believe is that not exploitation? It is it exactly is. what it is. It's exploitation. Let me ask you this. Yeah. For the people who live in America, they know when you have direly ill kids like this usually, not going to say always, but usually you're getting a check for it. Right. That's just what it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, what do you think those people that are sending these, these people these said checks uh-huh. are going to think when they see them Showing their sickly child. Yeah, what the fuck I'm giving you a check for, nigga, if you're getting all that money from them? So, I... Now, I don't know if I want to get an idea to the government or nothing. IRS, do your job. But, um... <laughs> I think we need to start looking at some of these people's finances. Man. That ain't a bad take. I ain't Because, uh... Shit. You IRS. know, they be getting new <laughs> iPhones just to put these kids on the camera, but... Kids be still wearing fucked up clothes. That's just me. And then, yeah. and then if you're getting paid, most of the time you got to create like some kind of LLC or hey, something. I ain't. And you can write all that shit off. I'm just confused. So sickly kids, they on there. So look. so look, let me give you an example, right? <clears throat> it's this one little Asian girl. Her whole face, the whole top of her head, like fucked up, like oh, that. Okay. Hmm. And they all be saying this makeup in the comments and shit, but it's not. Like it's fucked up. And they just be having her on there, sitting in the screen, like. <laughs> I'm talking about drool doing all out. type of shit. I'm talking about drool oh. off the mouth. I'm so serious. Bro, doing all type of shit. This and they be getting crazy. all type of oh, gifts. No. They be getting all type of gifts in a TikTok live and shit, bro. They just got the kids. That's fucked. They just spaz it out. Yeah, shit. bro. That literally. So fuck, literally, yeah. bro. Like, like, <laughs> like, there's this one little boy. Man, that ain't funny, bro. That he ain't can't funny. move his arms. He rolls around. So, like, I they th- show him <laughs> rolling around playing with Legos and shit with his, you know, fucked up arms and legs. Like, it's a damn jelly up. bean. But, but oh I, I mean, God. if you think about it, like, to play devil's advocate, you know, it could be like a day in the life kind of thing, you know? See how they operate. Um, I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I appreciate you trying to play devil's advocate. 
but I'm, uh, I'm not they, booing you. I'm just they like, know what they're doing the when they do shit. For real, that was bad. They, they know, know what they're doing. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Bars. Sick motherfuckers, man. Sick but individuals. But what if they're like helping fund cap their um cap? You're the, getting a the check. child with. I'm sorry. What they using the check to you know help? Yeah, they, they, they the very well, out. very well could be. But you know, I'm like some they said, are. It's Some hard. Of them got it's hard. You can do it with us. It's hard whatever. to believe that you're using that check for that when you have an iPhone 16 to record your live. And, and these motherfuckers, most of the time, everybody has do they not? Clothes. Do those people not have shorter lifespans? Well, exactly. So, with that being said, what what are you really it's, there for? Exactly. Like, really there's only there so for? much you're really paying for. And by that I mean, point, you know, they're just laughing. They're just laughing at them. But I mean, like, you know, if you yeah. could, if you make, if you knew you could make five hundred thousand in like a couple years, would you do it? I don't know if I would feel morally okay with just exploiting that exactly. individual. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just How would they feel? And knowing if my no. parents knew, they'd be like, no, nah, you need to cut that. Shit. We got people out here doing worse. Oh, for, for sure. Oh, for sure. For sure. And the motherfuckers that be on there doing the uh, that 20v1 guy. There's like a whole bunch of 20v1 YouTubers yeah. and stuff like that. And you and had that one guy. That you need to check the, those people. He did He did the 20v1 versus uh, Lil RT. Yes. Mm. That m- nigga needs to die. Oh my God. No, like for no. real. I ain't seen it, so I don't know. No, I ain't seen it. Yeah, you little, know Lil RT though, right? No. That's the little kid from Atlanta who like eight years old. He be rapping he be and rapping shit. And oh, yeah, like, yeah, He was yeah. rapping I, with Lil Mabu. Yeah, yeah, okay. I did it. I, I covered that on here before. Yeah, mm-hmm. oh, okay. I know. I do know he's talking about him. My fault. Better Tragic as hell. Yeah. And he got him in there speed dating other little girls and stuff. They're and they tried, to, they tried to put in like some, some boys and they're just like, oh, he's just looking for friends. No. Get the fuck out of here. They had him in there dancing around. I'm not gonna front. I saw a clip on Twitter. One of them kids like they was damn near twerking, and the guy and the kid was in the in the dude that was running it. The grown man was like, "Whoa!" Like, like he was like, "Oh!" Like he was almost damn near egging it on. Like this is crazy. No, that's hell. degenerate, bro. That's degenerate. Bro. I'm trying to tell you. We need to that. start. You see, why I keep talking about these niggas doing background checks <laughs> on these niggas. I'm uh, trying to tell you. Uh, you start canceling shit I think like I'm Uncle that, Ruckus. Bro. Uh, seeing you niggas every day makes me understand Uncle Ruckus. I'm gonna keep saying it. Because some of y'all niggas is just, oh my goodness gracious. Nah, that, that, we that, better that off hurt. without them. Yeah, we darker. need to cancel shit. Over there that. doing that's 20v1s ridiculous. with kids and shit. That's and darker. And just edit, edit, take, take their ass to school, man. Take their ass to school. I'm trying God to damn. say. God damn. These motherfuckers can't read. They're changing the alphabet. They don't know how to count. God damn. Take their school. Damn got take your parents to court. Fuck that. I damn near got Reba Delago at this point. CPS needs to be involved. God damn. This shit is This is ridiculous. Powerful nigga spirits just taking over everywhere. What we gonna do? Come on, speed date. What we gonna Why? do? The motherfuckers eight. And they they try to call us Uncle Tom and shit because we talk about niggas. Like the one dude that made the video talking shit about the, the black YouTubers that be over there bullshit and promoting degeneracy. Mm-hmm. People try to say that this nigga's doing too much and that he's Uncle Tom and this and that. It's like, bro, y'all niggas is crazy. This is stupid. It's just niggas every day. We we but we real ones know. See, this is why I need to get like Akon, right? You know what I'm saying? Like Akon, black yeah. as hell. No, fuck you. Um, he yeah. ain't. Say you already well, that. I don't like none of y'all right now. <laughs> but, you know, I got to get my own little <laughs> land. Start my own little colony. You know okay. what I'm saying? Get rid of that degenerate shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We don't discriminate against nobody. As long as you're a good human, you allowed in. Yeah, there's still going to be some DJ and activity going well, we on. We're going to do some there. some heavily background checks on that motherfucker mm. tomorrow. Because I ain't going for none of that. And then if you do do some degenerate behavior, you're getting your ass out. Mm-hmm. Type shit. Tomorrow. Man, but I got something else to talk about, man. I got a bone to pick today. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Man, I be, you know how it is. We in the podcast era. We doing the podcast. We like to drop bars on y'all weekly. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, so I, I'm just, I, I will, I will agree with some of the people that be on the clip saying that you need to take the microphone. Some of these motherfuckers don't need microphones. I will say there is nuance. Some of these oh, motherfuckers don't. do not need microphones. I guess none of us really do, but some of us really have no business being on the top of the microphone. Um, actually, you know what? I ain't even gonna say that. I'm not gonna say that because you know that gives more that gives us more content to talk about. So you know what today I'm talking about these fake ass motivational speakers, man. Mm-hmm. They getting on there and they promoting this so called device mm-hmm. and they forced the hell out of these takes, man. Mm-hmm. I was on Twitter the other day and and, and I, I saw a video, man. I just want y'all to watch this. I want y'all to listen. Broke people watching a football game. To me, that is as dumb as a box of rocks. For a person to be broke and watch a football game or a basketball game or a golf tournament or a race, you're watching somebody else win when you're losing. How could that possibly be interesting to you? Unless you're studying how to win. And then you're delusional enough to call those people on that team your team. 
They might be your team, but you ain't their team. Is that too tough? Am I swinging too hard first thing in the morning? We can pause it right here. Myron, right don't here. you want to see them? No, I don't. That nigga barely got enough hair on his head to be thinking like that. You you know you, you notice you notice how you notice how it, he said, Am I up? Am I doing too much early in the morning? Everybody was silent. Like, yeah, like Everybody was like, it. nigga, we broke here watching you. That was you nigga, what you talking about? That this is this is ridiculous. I guess you broke. You just can't do nothing nowadays. You can't do nothing. You can't even have joy. You can't do shit Ooh, if you broke. Shit, these motherfuckers pissed it's, me off. It's crazy. These are the this people like him. That's the old head. They prey to. on people like those broke people, they right. prey on them. Right. So that model makes no fucking sense. They know you're yelling no at them, at but you're literally feeding off of them. You aren't who you are without them. Right. Shit, little, little, you know, these young niggas doing money spreads and shit now, nigga. That ain't nobody giving a fuck. Ain't nobody listening like, to you. Like, bro, that sounds just so annoying. And, like, most of these people that talk this guru lifestyle and all that shit mm -hmm. be frauds behind closed doors yeah, anyway. That's what I'm going towards. That nigga probably ain't got no money. I know, but, I know you a young know, nigga down the road right now that money spread on him. If I could just think right now, if I just think logically, tell you that little seminar he held was probably expensive as hell, right? Mm -hmm. And this is supposed—it's probably one of those seminars that's supposed to better your life, get your mind right, that kind of shit. Mm -hmm. So if anything, he did the exact same damn thing. And if if if, if you look at it close enough, mm -hmm. you could also say. That he's not making a lot of money because he has to make a seminar charging people a lot, a shit ton of money to hear him. To get him, to get in there. Guess who else just did that? Fresh and fit. They talk all that shit. Oh, we richer than you niggas. Y'all niggas is broke. Woo woo this, woo woo that. Demonetized. On kick. Now they got a paywall. And then they charge niggas $3,500 to get on a yacht with random girls that didn't even know they were supposed to be there. Look, y'all. You can't make this shit up. Stop listening to them gurus. Of Thanks. course, there's there's gems in the shit that they have to say. Of course, mm. but realize that most of these motherfuckers aren't even living that lifestyle them damn Thanks. selves. And I hate them motherfuckers. I hate them motherfuckers. I used to know, you know, I used to think, you know, you know, maybe they do have money. Maybe they are intelligent, you know, in a way that I'm not. But then you go behind the scenes on all these motherfuckers. It's, it's all of them. It's not just one that's you know the one offs. It's all of these motherfuckers. Yes. It's all degenerate behavior after when you go behind closed yes. doors. Don't you know? Don't sleep with sleazy women. You go through all of these niggas' track records. Sleazy women. Mm. Oh, don't spend your money like an idiot on cars and houses and shit. You go behind their track record. They all doing the exact same shit. They gonna say it's a. Uh, uh, what, what do they usually say? They say it's usually like oh a networking piece. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Don't fall for that shit, man. Don't fall for that shit. All of that shit is smoking mirrors. Don't fall for none of that shit. Even, There's gems in there. But don't don't be selling your souls to that shit. And all these so-called rich guys that go on the internet every single time showing off they Rolls Royces and <laughs> this and that, saying this could be you one day. It's all this and that. That's exactly how they made their money, by faking a lifestyle, yep. exaggerating a lifestyle, and mm -hmm. getting y'all broke people to go in subscribe and, to and go it. subscribe to it. And that's how they make their money. That's how they actually do Boy. end up for real affording this stuff. This topic pisses me off because there's a lot of victims out there, bro. It's a lot of niggas that don't know what the fuck to do. And they seeing that shit. And they're like, oh, well, this nigga, he has a Lambo. He has a mansion. He has a bunch of girls. He must be talking about something. And then they subscribe to that bullshit, man. That's just annoying, bro. That's like, honestly the dumbest shit I've seen this week. And it's the fact that it came from a, a, a man that's probably like 80-something years old is, is wild. <laughs> like, fuck yeah, don't man. watch no sports if you broke how you watch the other people win. <laughs> unless you're trying take. to figure out how to win. <laughs> like, Cause, Damn. Because fuck, fuck entertainment. Like, I'm like, trying to say. Because life is just all about just nothing. hustling. Like, 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 I get the message he was trying to portray, but he's just putting it entirely wrong way. Watching sports? Like, no. I get trying put your hard. head down and grind if you poor, if you broke, and get your money up, right around this, right around that. But I can get, you don't need to go on vacation. Exactly. That all humans have downtime. Sense. All humans have downtime. Yeah, you're going to have some sort of downtime. Like, but, oh. It's just, I just, I, that that topic alone is just so irritating. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's, just, it's frustrating. It's bad religion, it's, for it's, sure. For me, I'm not thinking about me. I'm just thinking about the people that are being hustled. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's the people, people that out there. actually paid. Yes. Under that paid to go yes, listen to that fool bro, talk. Like, and life is hard. Economy is struggling. Like, for bills to get paid is tough. Mm. And motherfuckers reached out to a motherfucker hoping that they would help them. And they just shitted on them. At least I think you better. You're at the seminar that you paid a shit ton of money on yeah. while he's shitty on you in front of your face. Yeah. But in the same breath, he's making money off of you. Like, I, that's, oh my God. You better man. off oh tuning in to Blast Street Boys podcast. I'm trying Thanks. to tell y'all. Like, at least we'll tell you we don't know shit. At yes. least I tell you I'm broke. 
So I'm trying to tell you, I'll be the first one to tell you. Like he's talking like he's all high and mighty, but if you were to go and look at his bank statements, he's probably fucked. That's one thing I'm kind of scared about. If you know, I end up getting a whole bunch of money, I end up being rich. Uh-huh. Uh, I, I can't necessarily. If they know I'm doing well, I can't fall back on the. No, I'm broke. No, yes, the anymore. hell you can. Shit, yes, the hell you can. They're not gonna believe uh-huh. you. A wise They're man not believe once you no told more. me. A wise man once told me, said, "DJ, you be broke until you dead." What if they what know about? you? They just know you not broke. Nigga, they don't know nothing. Your, they your, don't okay, know nothing. What if it's your wife then? Man, it's gonna what? be signs. What if it's gonna be some signs? It's gonna be signs. Yeah, it's gonna be some signs. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say that every time. It's gonna be But the thing is, you gotta look at what you're saying when you say that you broke, right? Mm. When you say that you broke, you mean it for other people. You mm. can't ask me for money because I'm broke. Okay. For DJ, I'm doing fine. You know, for you, bars. I'm broke. That's bars, though. Well, I know what you mean. That's bars, though. Shit. It is. Because you know what they're asking for. DJ, you got it like that. You can't let me hold a little nah, something, bro. I'm broke. I'm broke. Something I'm going to be broke. Man, that's bars, man. I'm broke. Somebody was just asking me for $6 this morning. I don't got it. For you, right? Man. Man. For me, oh, I got all of it in a bag of chips. Like you got but for you, change. I don't have that shit. He said, what if I want to go up to give me go up to Burger King my damn self and give exactly. me that shit. Five dollar your way. Exactly. Shit. That better go fill out an application. <laughs> Burger King. Come say. on. Come on what now. If I only spend if I only intended to spend six more dollars today. <laughs> now I spend it on your black. Exactly. Ass. I got a word for you, man. Not necessarily black. Couponing. Just... Facts. I'm telling you, man, be broke yeah. for everybody else. You ain't gotta be broke for yourself, but be broke for other motherfuckers. I'm trying to tell you. A motherfucker was like I said last week, or was it last week, two weeks ago, something like that. Motherfucker love to tell you what to do with your money. But Don't fall say, for that bullshit. Being broke, there is like the there is like of course there, there's the pros and cons to everything. Being broke definitely has its pros because you can just fall back on every single time. Yes. You wanna go out to eat? I'm broke. Broke. I'm broke. I ain't got nothing to. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? You want you want you want to sit down and chill. Yeah. And lie, I'm broke. Yeah. I gotta get up. See. Yeah. But that's you know the what I'm thing. trying to say? Like you can be think? broke forever. You wanna go on vacation? I'm, I'm broke. broke. Shit. Anything. Because look at it. You Anything. might have money, but you don't have money for a vacation. So technically, you're broke. Yeah. Really? You, you wanna go? You wanna go watch them on TV? I'm broke. I ain't trying to use my electricity bill. You come on. I'm trying to say that's why the man, that's why the wise man said. I'm trying DJ to say DJ be broke until you're dead. Peanut butter mm. and penis. That baby mm. needs some some diapers. I'm broke. I ain't got it. Uh, but, but, huh? Yeah, you know the baby. You know the you know they be asking. You know, people don't got real comfortable with asking for money. To you need motherfucking single moms. You going on bubble gum and ball sack? Whoa. Hey, bubble gum and dick. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bubble gum and ball sack. Mm. That's all I got. Two things that you on. That's all. That's all. That's hey, come on, man. Oh, okay. Now Bang for your buck. I was so you, man. confused, man. I'm telling you, man. Just, a lot of y'all need to be broke until y'all dead. <laughs> Gotta be. Stop broke. letting motherfuckers have money. Stop telling people what to do with your damn money. You broke. Facts. And I'm right there with you, brother. Yeah. I'm broke as hell. Yeah. Broke as a motherfucker. Be joke. proud of it. Real. In a way, like find a pride in it. Cause you know what I'm saying that that broke hustle is different. Mm-hmm. That shit mm-hmm. different. Back yeah, against the wall. Back against the wall. You gotta do what you gotta do. You can't be afraid of it. I mean, you can't got, be afraid of being broke. He be on lock and L shit. Okay. He no, hustling. No, I don't. Doing don't. what he got to do. Gawking. See, it's crazy. Anyway, <laughs> we can move on. You know yeah, you know, speaking of broke niggas, man. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> speaking of broke niggas, man, I wanted to talk about these, um, everybody that be watching all these streamers spending eight to 10 to 12 to 16 hours watching Aiden Ross and Who's Jason going? and whoever the fuck, man. All y'all brainwashed like a motherfucker. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I don't understand how the fuck you sit back and watch somebody for eight hours at a time not doing jack shit. All you niggas are filled with a bunch of hoopla. Hoopla from SpongeBob, nigga. Hoopla. It's it's honestly absurd. And I just see I see all the shit on TikTok and Instagram, like, you know, Jason and you know, shout out Max uh from the basement boys. I actually fuck with him, but his homie Jason, he don't his content is him fumbling with women and being completely absurd with them and out of pocket. 24-7. Yeah. It's just like, how do you fill people's heads with that and think that shit mm-hmm. is okay? I think it's absolute bullshit. And like as time goes on, like you said, their head's so filled up. So when they actually do have to interact in the real world, they'll see that you know, or they don't oh, see, yeah. but they'll think it's that so that kind of behavior is okay. But that's really just going again to like to the kids. They market it to the kids. Mm-hmm. That's well, the main thing. They know damn well. They streamers are also. I know you be seeing uh, Deshae Frost. He likes yeah. to getting his dog get, get on dome dog. on camera, like on stream, while his homie is seemingly watching. It. Hey, yeah. looking that's, down, looking back at it like hard. That's, that's, yeah, that's terrible. That is so ridiculous. Ooh, nigga, boo. You like, niggas need help. 
All of you niggas need oh help. And then y'all sit there and just watch them. Yeah. I, I'm not saying like y'all watching constant. Like I understand it's mostly kids, but even to y'all teenagers, I know most of y'all probably like uh, between a 14 to 18 range. Stop watching these niggas take showers together, man. <laughs> what the hell's going on with you? I saw some of this all my damn feed on Twitter, dude. Oh, Some more speed and cost and that taking a damn shower. There's wearing some swim trunks, but I still think this shit is highly questionable. And honestly, oh, sure. anyone who does streams with speed, you should just expect him to do some off the wall fruit ball shit. Yeah. So you invited him to do that Back. shit when you said I'm going to get in the shower with this nigga. <laughs> like you invited the dumb shit. Like I don't. But understand. you know what? They get into their money. People like watch. Like I get it. I, I, I like cost and that. Yeah, I do mm-hmm. too. But like it's just certain things. I'm like. Why? Why? Yeah. Why? Like not even just this with him. Just like, why do y'all want to watch that? Yes. Because mm-hmm. like, he's just doing this shit are, because right. that's what y'all want to watch. What's the appeal? And like what Rob said is crazy, bro. Sleep streams. Like, Go ahead. Like <laughs> hours, and that's cool. like, like these are work shifts. These niggas streaming for hours. They don't got no jobs, DJ. It doesn't matter. Learn anything. These niggas can't do the alphabet. Yeah. Whoa. They can't do the alphabet. Yeah. Rob told me that these niggas change the alphabet song. But somehow, some way, they spend eight hours watching the nigga do backflips. Sleeping, actually. <laughs> Taking showers. Like this is insane. Yeah. What do we wait? We 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 still in the bag. Huh? We still in the bag. Well, I mean, you gotta get a following before you can do a sleep stream, bars. Well, I don't do yeah. that. I don't I don't, I don't mean that. I ain't trying to do that. Kind of weird. I fart in my <laughs> sleep. I don't really want that on camera. Well, you might get some extra donations. Yeah, though, facts. So, per two or what? Come on, dog. That'd be pretty nuts. I'll be a millionaire. Hey, if y'all want to watch me fart on live, let me know. I'll do it. Man, I don't think our fans really want to do that. No, for real. I I, I think our fans are more down to earth. Yeah, factual. Just regular people. Shout out to y'all, man. For the most part. I I think we kind of Mm -hmm. had to build it that we kind of had to. At first, it was strange at first. It was was strange. Mike Jackson, where you go, man? Where Burner Mike Jackson go? Oh, see, no. That man was tripping. That man was tripping. He was, bro. He was off the You know how long it took to get y'all to stop sending me the fruitiest of things in my DMs? Good God. Man, that's great. That's it took funny. a long time. I mean, if you're interested in back. watching me stream all night and farting shit, let me know. Nah, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Hey, bag chaser. I can't, I man, can't speaking it. of farting, <laughs> shit, man. I, 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 listen, this I like is a this conversation. Segue. I like this. Great segue. I like this. I like Have this. Have y'all ever heard of the Dutch oven? Oh, Hell it's yeah. my favorite technique. Of course. You know what I'm saying? When you're lying with your girl, you fart, you tap her ass under the goddamn blanket. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, I want to talk about this for the second, man. Mm-hmm. You know, I feel like the real love... You For real love, it, it's necessary. I feel like the, the Dutch oven is a necessary step in a healthy relationship. 100% agree. You got, come on, man. Come on. Man, did you come on. it a couple days ago? Because I come, heard some commotion. Come on, man. <laughs> I've, I've done it. Emotion? I've done it on multiple occasions. And I'm try, I'm still trying to perfect the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, perfect the technique. The, the yeah. technique. Mm-hmm. But I've been trying. I haven't been successful yet. Oh, I've been. Not 100% successful. Oh, I got but, you know, I'm, I'm working slick. on it. I'm yeah. working on it for sure, but that's besides the point. I want to talk about, I want to talk to y'all real quick. If you, you got to be able to Dutch oven your girl and her not be like get legitimately upset at you. If you can't do that, she can't like, you know, all play like they mad and then eventually just laugh it off and then, you know, say, ah, oh, you're disgusting or oh, whatever, blah, blah, blah. If she can't do that, you got some work to do. I ain't saying it's over, but you got a little work to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, you, you ain't, you ain't built that rapport with I'm her saying, yet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, I, be able, ooh, man. you gotta be able to fart in the back of their head and it's just okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you're gonna talk some shit about you, yeah. you know, whatever might hit yeah, you, you know. like fake hit you or whatever. But, you know, besides that, I feel like you should be able to do that. I'll tell yeah. y'all my story. Mm-mm. My ex, you know, y'all y'all been in my apartment and if y'all y'all been around for a long time, y'all seen my apartment. And um, on that couch that we used to film on. OG couch. Yeah, my shorty was asleep. She knocked the hell out, mouth wide open and everything. You know what I'm saying? And you know, we don't been together for probably like four, five years by that right. point. So, you know, I walk over there. You know, she cooked me a mean meal, nice, right. real, real good food. Oh, Jesus. Stomach bubbling. So I'm like, shit, it's going <laughs> to be a funny timing. one to tell the guys. It's going to be a funny timing. one. You know what Perfect I'm saying? The only, the only bad thing I missed about it is recording it. But, <laughs> yeah. you know, Bang. mouth wide open, she's, you know, snoring her ass off. Pop a toot to my <laughs> Blew that motherfucker. Shit. Man, now, I'm with no man. Nah, oh, oh, I blew that. I blew the shit out of that motherfucker. <laughs> oh, you're God evil. But damn, now, what made it so great it was that she woke up, like the you know the the vibrations. I guess you know woke her ass up, <laughs> and she started calling me everything in the book, <laughs> except for the n word. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah, she called me everything yeah, and all. She we thought, thought about. She thought about. Yeah, oh, she probably did. She probably would, but she knew she better. Was. But you know, she called me everything in the book. Now, the next morning. She would, you know, she made a joke about it. You know, you, know, you stanking ass motherfucker. You know, you don't fart in my face while I'm asleep. Yeah. She's like, don't go to sleep around me. 
<laughs> and I like I, I shook up. I dapped up. I said, "Good, that's, I, I respect that." I'm trying yeah. to say it's fair you know game though. My girl definitely has gotten me. I ain't gonna lie to you. As she should. I'm just trying I know to say you don't that, got her. It's a rite of passage. For you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a rite of passage. That's, that's, you know, that's a real bond right there. You know, you passing gas yeah, for real. In, 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 in each other's love. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Because we ain't, shit, man. Not, not just anybody getting Dutch oven. That's what I'm saying, it's man. Only, right. only, that's, that's, only that's, an ex- that's an, you know, we I'm call it. Dutch oven in one person. That's an exception. It's you know sacred. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Sacred gas. That ain't just for anybody. Sacred fumes. You know what I'm saying? That ain't just for everybody. Sacred experience. Come on, you know man. What I'm you gotta, you gotta I'm share. I'm trying it. to tell you. That's a moment y'all gotta just share. Just embrace oh, it. No. I'm I don't, crazy I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? Cause they, you yeah, know. you right. You right. You right. You got. You she got. You fake, she got to be fake mad. Yeah. Fake mad though. Not real mad. Yeah. Shit. You ain't get no butt for a few days. You know. But if you do it wrong, you might not get no yeah, butt. Yeah, no yeah. Yeah. I ain't, I ain't I'm get none. Now. I ain't get none. Oh, uh, yeah, I've been there, man. She still cook for me, though. But I ain't <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel you. So she was like half mad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel you, man. Damn. Toots in the name. Good day, good day. I was like, damn, that, it was that serious, though? No? Like, I just can't eat cheese. <laughs> like, it was that serious? <laughs> okay. Man, man, man. But like, you understand the sentiment, though. You understand why they fake mad. You just like, damn. Yeah, I Because they fall in my face, I'd be a little blue, too, shit. Yeah, yeah. But when they get you back, you just like, damn. Yeah, you can't Karma's do too much bitch. about that. Karma's a bitch, for real. <laughs> Vaping farts and shit. Yeah, that's, that's, that's all I got, man. Rite of passage. <laughs> what to do with your girl? Man, speaking of a rite of passage, I want to talk about being grown at the family functions, man. And one thing about me, my family, the Andersons and the Ballads, we throw it down when it comes to the party, man. We kick it. Get some oh, music. God. We get some drinks. Everybody's sitting around laughing. We might get a little green going. We, we chill. But being a kid... And seeing all those functions and then growing up and participating in them, it's a little different. Oh, it's different. It's oh, a little yeah. different, oh, yeah. you know? Cause you they they still looking at you like you the baby. Like you can't like you can't curse and you can't you can't have no drink. Are you oh, old enough real? to have man, yeah, man. My my auntie from Cali came in over the weekend. Real cool lady. You, mm-hmm. you smoker. Um <laughs> real cool lady, right? <laughs> so know. she came with a nice big old jar of some green. Last two, you know, I'm like, damn, TT, you know, that's that Kelly. She let me get some of that. She said, nah, your arteries aren't big enough. I said, huh? <laughs> he said, uh, <laughs> good lord, my arteries aren't big enough. That's extremely specific. Tried to play, you tried to play your ass. <laughs> like, I, like, I was a little ass boy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> a little ass boy. I've been smoking since I was 13. TT, what you want about? Hey, I'm trying to say, man, shit, I've been that's raiding good. that liquor cabinet since I left. That's shit. good. Damn, nigga. <laughs> That's a Holy good. shit. He boy funny, bro. They funny there. Oh, my God. But, yeah, I just want to talk about that, man, because it seems like they just don't get it. I've been grown ass that, man. My family get it. Yeah, but they get it now. Now that I moved out and I'm on my own and shit, they be like, oh, no, nah, Rob has on the play. You know? Yeah, he grown up. Yeah, yeah. He grown as hell. Shit. I, it, nigga paying it's, bills. It's crazy how, <laughs> <nigga> <laughs> it's crazy how time <laughs> change. You grow up just looking at these people, then you grow up and you... You up there with your granddad talking about booty and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, man, shit mm-hmm. crazy, boy. Bro, man. Hey, for real, though. I haven't experienced that yet, man. That's because yeah. I haven't been to no family functions. Oh, yeah. I'm just now. I'll be skipping all of them. I'm just now learning I'm allowed to smoke with my family for real now. Oh, yeah. I'm just now learning. So, like, my cousins, when they come over now, I wasn't smoking with them because I went to age, but now I can. It's kind of weird, but it's fun. <laughs> I bet. Like, I'm trying I to bet. Tell you. I bet. It's a nice experience. You know, you can talk your shit. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Talking yeah. shit. Like, hell yeah. Nice. Well, with my granddad, I, I never thought that would happen. <laughs> it didn't end well, though. Really? Yeah, grandmama called us. Uh-oh. <laughs> He's a grandma who called us. See, that's Uh-oh. a terrible ending to that one. That oh, is a terrible ending. But I, I, like, I saw it coming, though. I'm like, mm. we right by your bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I mean, he the man of the house. Shit, who gives a damn? Shit, he got me in trouble. <laughs> Trouble well, granny. not saying trouble, mm-hmm. not really. She ain't yeah, fake trouble. You know, she was granny. You know what I'm saying? Granny gave you the look of discernment. I ain't, I ain't want, yes, I ain't want grandma to ever see me like nah, that. Nah, for man. real. <laughs> I ain't smoked since. I've been fucked up. <laughs> this nigga traumatized. This nigga got granny PTSD. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. No, that ain't wild. That's funny. Shit. Me and the trees, I just moved on. That's oh, all. That's man. all it is, man. Yeah, man. That is a right of passage, though, so, man. You know, smoke one freestyle with the family. I need to experience that. Mm hmm. But, man. I guess, you know, we talked about this for a little bit, man. And I don't know if I even got too much to say on it, but I've been thinking about this from time to time. You know, of course, you want to go buy significant other stuff and whoever you want to buy them things and do nice things. But I just don't understand the spoiling thing. Mm-hmm. When does spoiling become a, a positive term? When when did that happen? Well, what, what, but it's, I, I see it used more to spoil. I, I see it used more positive than the negative these days. Yeah, Wait, really? Days, yeah, yeah. I oh, see oh it, for sure. 
Okay. Spoil, I see it used more positive. Like, the people get mad at you if you don't spoil them. Yeah. Factual. Well, but everybody's shit. idea yeah. of spoiling is different. That yeah. is true. And I think I'm trying to think about it from the lens of, like, think about if you had a kid and you was making good money, right? And they was doing good in school, doing what they supposed to do around the house. You would spoil them. You would get them what they want. I wouldn't call that spoiling, though. Yeah. You, what would you call it? I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to get them. Make, I'm not going to get them everything they want. Yeah, if you, if you over there just... Fucking up, yeah. It, you are not I, trying in school. I ain't getting you. Shit. I ain't getting you shit for real, it, for real. Exactly though. I'm gonna but get you one thing. When it comes down to it, let's say you got them the PS4, you got them a new controller, a few games, you got them some new clothes and some new kicks. Like, depending that's a lot of add, shit. Depending on who you okay. ask, that could you know? be spoiling. Okay. But I don't think. Yeah. Okay, I see what you're saying. From another lens, it's going to seem like spoiling regardless. It's, it's kind yeah, of what he's but, getting at. Like, but he's also but, saying that the kid is behaving. But I think spoiling now it's like yeah he's behaving because because spoiling is like now that if you that if that they don't get that because mm. they weren't doing right they're gonna be mad at you yeah or because you're not gonna keep that up they're That's, gonna be upset with you yeah that goes with the kids that goes with that goes with significant others too mm -hmm. if it gets to a point where now if you're not getting that for for some period of time it's mm. a problem now it's a problem yeah. that's why I say you're spoiled if yeah. you actually get the thing you know you work for it depending on what tax bracket your parents are in or your significant mm. others in. The reward may be different, but if you get rewarded for it, I wouldn't say that's being spoiled per se. I think it becomes spoiled the moment it becomes like, like uh, it just it has to happen. Yeah, Otherwise, it's, an issue it's a problem. When it doesn't, yeah, you know what I mean. Mm. I, I think agree. that's what's a problem. That's bars right there. I think that's that's real the spoiling thing. I think too often in relationships we we glorify the spoiling of things. Yes, you, you got to take people out and do this and do that. We broke. Yes, how many times do we have to say like, it? I don't understand. We broke, and now you got broke motherfuckers spending money like like they not broke. Yes, and it's just not that that ain't gonna work, man. It's, it's not, not sustainable. Friendly. It's not sustainable. At you wonder like we like sometimes you don't want to go out. Mm -hmm. Yes, because you know when you do but, like you shit but, pockets hey, on fire. You got to get creative, man. Man, cook fuck up a, that. Cook you still up a, spending money. Cook up a dinner at the crib, man. Money. The meat that you the meat that you buy I for dinner, that that's one. not outside the normal. You can go buy you can buy you a couple steaks or something. That's or go for buy me. Brandon already stuff. went through for that. You, right? Brandon already you went through that. Steaks. pick up an extra one. Steaks. See, but I, that's Nigga, you just said something that's like $15, $20. Regardless of whatever, you can make a dish at home, have a candle lit dinner. Candles cost and money. Then crush. I ain't saying you can't do that. That's what I'm saying. But that's expecting a, that that's all a, the time. That's what I'm saying. Every though. time we see each other, no, ain't nobody. Doing yes, that. they, yes, crazy. the fuck they in. I'm not saying they cook a steak, but I said they have oh, to go shit. do something special every time they see each other. Damn near. But the point no, he's no, making no. is that I never it becomes a problem. That's my problem when it doesn't happen. This isn't my problem. That's mm. that's what I'm saying. That's what that's, that's his point. So like, whether mm. he's doing that or not. If she's comp or not, I'm not she, talking but like, about me. I'm just saying, and I'm yeah, I'm just yeah. using you as a scenario. But like, well, even if you're a father, let's say your kid starts complaining about it, Plain. that's where it becomes a problem. No. The actions aren't the issue. It's when the actions aren't done, right? And there's an issue mm. with the action not being done. That's when the problem arises. I have a that's question. That's where I think spoiling is actually right. I have a question. You know, I think that's where I'm confused. Because uh, at one point, does spoiling become tricking? Oh, well, I'll be hey, hey. That's a conversation. That's look, I'm saying. Look, I had a I conversation guess. about that. I, I don't know if I can say that on the main thing. I, I, I've always okay. wondered, though, what, at what point are we tricking? I like tricking. Mm. It's oh. a lot easier. All simpler. Right, man. It's, honest, no, simpler. It's, it's tricking is simpler than spoiling the motherfucker, if you ask me. 100%. If okay. I'm just tricking, at least that, not at least that way, you know what you're signing up for. I ain't, I ain't gotta be in your face. It's just every time I'm in your face, you get a little. Yeah, something. but that ain't long term. Like that ain't. You can say that. Real you can say that. You can you can say that. That's I ain't gonna argue with that. It's not real life. You can I ain't gonna argue with that. I ain't gonna argue with that. But at what you point are you tricking? Uh, I think that's where I think that's maybe where I'm getting mixed up because I'm not necessarily just talking about gifts, but in terms of spoiling your partner, spoiling your girl, it's showing her a good time in. And uh, it's an extension of love. It's a show of gratitude. I get you. An I expression you. of love, I should have said. I get you. But I'm like, mm -hmm. I feel like we should just stay the spoiling for the negative thing. <laughs> because cause, cause it, it crosses lines, Rob. It crosses I, lines. I feel like you're just getting caught up on the word, though. Because have see, you ever experienced that in your life? What? what? A girl who... Spoiled you? No. Um, a girl who said you not spoiling her? Oh, thank God! I, I I I don't I don't associate myself with stuff like that. But exactly. I see it, I've though. never I've never run into I've never run into that before. Shit, I be seeing it though. Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. Are you like yeah? Well, I mean, it's obviously gonna be a subsector of. That's, I'm just saying. <laughs> but I feel regardless, like we just keep those I feel two like words. we should just stop using spoiling. Just say we tricking. Like I'm, I'm tricking. You know, I'm tricking right now. 
Oh Lord, have mercy. Mm-hmm. I, I feel dis- like I it disagree. Went- I don't Shit, agree. Fuck it. Don't lump me in. I with see him like fifty percent. I see where, but there, there's a lot of things that go wrong with that. Cause mm-hmm. then you start confusing shit. Cause mm-hmm. motherfuckers, that's your girl, and you saying you triggering like that don't really right. That don't really, that don't really line up. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. But no. oh, oh, she do that. Like for real? <laughs> How much? Literally, yeah. literally. Now motherfuckers, <laughs> like, now motherfuckers like, start checking your ass. crash out. For real? No, <laughs> fact. Cause no, now they, now saying. they checking your account. Like. I see what you're saying. You ain't spending that much. You talking about I can see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Hilarious, nah, but I, I feel him uh, like half of that though. I feel like, like no, at what man, point are you? Yeah. Cause, cause I'm we've to had we we've seen yeah. women get bought before. Maybe not like bought like like that, yeah, but, yeah, like, but like you know, you know metaphorically. Mm-hmm. Oh, I yeah. got more money than him. So come with me. And right. they're like, yeah. oh, okay. Yeah. Like right. so at that, that point you're tricking. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. At that point you're so tricking. So I see I see what he's saying, like half of that. Spoiled stuff is ridiculous, yeah. man. Cause now this entitlement is, is wrapped yeah. into it. Yeah. That's the moment I think it comes it becomes spoiling. And I just like that is without a doubt spoiling. I think you know he just goes too far, man. But we don't gotta spend too much time on that. What y'all think is spoiling? Y'all 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 like that term? I hate it. Either way. I like tricking. Oh my God. Anyways, y'all, we got the extra segment coming up. I've been there $3. Take a description. See y'all next week.